Hello viewers, welcome back here. In the last video, we have learned how to take input from the user and in this video, we will learn how to give or how to print the output of the program. Okay, so for that, let me go there. This is the way we can print the output of our program, like print function that we are using from the very beginning. You just write to print and in the double quote all any string that you want to print or any variable that you want to print if you want to uh, concatenate the output where the string and variable together the string and if you want to concatenate the string and variable together you need paste function inside the print function okay because print doesn't allow to concatenate a string and variable we'll see that that print will show an error for that, you need to have paste function inside and you can use paste zero as well. Okay. One more thing that we have that cat function instead of using paste function inside the print function, we can use directly the cat function to concatenate or have the arguments in a character strings like any string or any variable. You can concatenate it. There is one more method that is message as the function named it is usually used to put some message into the screen for the user but it can also be used as normally used as for printing for printing the output okay you can there is also one method for writing output to a file whatever variable or string you want to write into a file you just need to use write function there the option table is used any variable that you want to print as you can see here here x is a variable that you want to print where the name of the file this file should be present there in the directory else it will show error that invalid documents or invalid path or something okay you need to put proper path here okay so in the current directory you can do that so this is the way this is a printing output to our program. Let's go directly to the R studio and the notepad where we can see how to do all these things. So let me remove these things of the last video. So here we are, we will be printing simply the string. This is simple string that we are printing. So it is printing a string. And then I'm taking one input that is X. And then again, I'm printing X here. So it is printing a string in the one print function and another it is printing X. Now I'm going to concatenate it using print function. What it will do? Let's see. By separating it with com so it is just printing the string as you can see in the third line the string only it is not concatenating or uh, interpreting the x after comma okay so for that i what i need to do i just need to in, in go inside the print function and put paste function now it will understood what is x okay In the third line now string and the value of x both have been printed i think uh, we can use paste directly also but before that let me use that paste zero as well see paste zero is removing because paste zero is removing the space in between the character strings okay that is the main difference between paste and paste zero. Now I'm trying to use the direct paste function rather than using it in, inside the print. The same thing. Oh, I think it is not getting printed. No, no. So it is not getting printed. Okay. So let me use here the cat function. The cat function will be used as a rather than writing print and then inside paste, we can directly use cat function. I, so we can use the cat function 
let me do it once yeah we can use that cat function for concatenating the string and the variable okay in the same way the message can be used message can be used let me there is error in message could not find function okay i'm oh sorry oh sorry oh sorry am i right now yeah control s i think i'm writing the spelling correct now yeah it is writing string 10 as you can see the, the message inside the message function is coming with red color it has actually been made just to show the message to the user okay so we should use it for that only like error here i can write error in the program okay Mm, yeah yes so we can use message for that so this is all for printing the output of the program to the user we can use print function we can concatenate using paste function inside the print we can use paste zero just by removing the spaces in between or we can use cat also cat function also and we can use message function just to uh, give them error message or some other message to the user so and which comes with the different color so this is the way we can give we can print our output of the R program okay thanks for watching this is the way we have learned how to take input in the last video and now how to give output and in the very next video we'll understand what are the different special values available in the R programming okay till then bye, -bye.